Hi there. Welcome to No Code Wiki. This is one of the first of the series called Let's Explore Together. Today we'll be exploring Feather Dot So, a no code tool which should help you convert your Notion content into a blog. So as you can see, it's is that you can convert it to a blog within four ste simple steps: adding your databases, mapping your respective fields, choosing your domain, and your blog is live using your Notion content. So basically, this is a complete blogging platform which uses Notion as your content management system. So you would write your articles on Notion and publish them with a single click through Feather. So, so let's explore this out and see how easy it is to set up a no code blog using the content of notion wait a second before we deep dive into feather dot so i would like to highlight that you can explore a lot of other no code tools just like feather dot so to help you in your no code journey just check out no code stash so say for example let me search something related to notion and as you can see feather so also shows up here and I click on show details it will highlight what it does the biggest advantages of feather dot so and you can follow them on social media or visit their website so basically notion dot so would be the CMS that helps you build blogs through feather dot so Okay, so you can check out a lot of no code tools, resources, and makers, etc., through no code stash. Okay, you could possibly filter it through categories, type, pricing, etc., which you can directly see here. These are the categories, this is a paid tool, and this is something that you can use to build your next no code project. So that's about it. That's no code stash. Now let's continue with the diving deep. To explore feather dot so right so I've just signed up so it gives us the option to either use an existing database so that it has put up a structure based on content pages tags and others or you could also create your own database as well I guess however let's duplicate this database and see what exactly it offers or what exactly it shows so I've cloned it so this is the uh, feather blog template that I have duplicated from the previous page. So this is how it is. As you can see, yep. So this is the content. This is the name of the article, the slug that you, have, you want to showcase, or basically the path of the article, whether it is ready to publish, the publish date, whether it would be featured. You can tag the authors here. You can give a small excerpt of the blog post so basically this offers a format for you to feed in the details relevant to your blog so let's go back to the previous step here and let us look at the pages okay these are the pages basically this is not an article page however the page that you would want to like highlight could be about us contact us etc right so let's see how this looks okay so this is like the about us page right then let's go back and i think this is the tags right so you would tag respective articles based on the relevant tags so say for example this my second article is related to some other tag i can just unlink that page here so only my first article would be tagged to this particular news tag okay so i think uh, either the best way i would suggest is if at all you want to add another tag for a different article you would be able to just duplicate it then see i'll untag this and tag this and maybe i'll say something like learn a tag with learn as the name so i think that's how simple it is which is amazing i would say and i think this would also be in a very similar fashion that is adding the authors and tagging them to the relevant say the article or the blog post 
along with the description basically highlighting or giving info of about the author and also you can define the slug when someone tries to access the info of the author so everything else seems to remain same uh, looks like you would also be able to define the social media handles for this particular author right so that's how it is so this seems to be very much straightforward which is great for anyone who has no idea of coding so following this structure people would be able to set up a blog using notion content so let's go back to feather.so now that we have looked at the database and its structure let's move forward and see the different options or features it offers okay so yeah here it says map the fields to notion properties let's say it fields are fields that are used to build the blog and the right side ones are the notion properties so do we connect please enter the notion page url for the content database okay let's go back to this so this is the content database let me pick the url i'll enter the url and say, click connect database okay so we would have to enable sharing which we'll do right away so here it is this is the public url so this is very crucial step in that case if at all a feather dot so has to access your content on notion amazing great so it validated and it is taking us through the next step so i think this is the mapping that they are speaking about here let me turn this off name slug ready to publish so name is nothing but the name of the article or the title of the article which is right the published date the slug so it has auto mapped considering it is their own template which we have used right so this seems to be fine for us let's click next okay we would have to do the same thing and map the pages database so let's get back pages again share make it public copy the link get back paste the url for pages and select connect database mapping seems to be fine here as well so let's move forward the similar approach you went to pick up the tags share share to web copy the link get back to feather.so and share the database url and connect database so perfect this seems to be also fine in terms of mapping and let's select the authors go back to this share make this public pick the web link and paste it here So this is where we would define the details of our domain or subdomain. So let's say this is something about no code. And I'm not sure if this would be available. Let us try this out. Finish. So looks like here you go. The site seems to be ready. Perfect. So here is the blog dash dashboard and I think this is where we would visit our blog. So let's do this. So let us visit the blog. There seems to be some error. Let's get back. Let's say settings. Okay. So this is our blog. Let us see what what are the different features that we can look at under dashboard 
so we will be able to create a new post add blog details set up blog navigation and in terms of content perfect so this is also pulled in from the notion database that we have mapped to so i think we would be able to create it right from your or the other way around as well and this is the pages tags authors and tags so look at this this is the one which we created directly on notion which seems to reflect within feather dot so and author name doesn't seem to reflect not dot so i'll pick this link let's get back to the dot so connect database for now reflects now after it so it reflects now after remapping back to domains back to domains try wow it seems to look now so i think it was too early for us to visit earlier when it didn't work so it seems to work now and as you can see the tag seems to reflect your the post also seems to reflect your which is nice so let us explore more options and see if at all we can customize yes okay design is something that is coming soon okay let us see what are these features interesting there is something called as watermark nice you would be able to enable or disable comments indexing for your blog site map this is something i really look forward to dark mode this is, would be amazing if at all you are trying to build a community or a newsletter this is great for any cloud flare plans image it seems to have an exhibitors that would allow you to customize disable or enable features etc okay and let us look at photo okay and let us look at photo i think this is the same photo which is your i think this is the same photo which is your i don't see it here though let's get back let me save this okay in terms of footer i don't see any change let me try accessing the blog post and see if there is a different footer okay i don't see it anyway let's get back to this okay excuse me so this i'm not sure why this seems to reflect under footer anyway so if at all i have to do this can add build without code external page let's see something like and let's keep this as an external page save it okay now it seems to reflect in the footer okay this seems to be a bit confusing i would need more clarity on why they would have added newsletter as under footer settings anyway we'll go back to our site let's refresh amazing so this is a way to reflect i think you would be able to customize the other aspects of the footer also so as you can see this seems to be a very straightforward a well structured way without actually 
the typical no no code way of doing it like see if you generally look at no code it's more like a drag and drop block based builders however this seems to be based on the structure that you would have defined on notion right so it pulls in content from notion however it also offers other ways to customize to make it as personal as possible for your brand or for your personal website right so let us look at the other parts of the settings page email newsletter let's look at this okay so whatever you would capture from the newsletter field i think that would reflect your that's what it says find all the collected emails so let's say navigation so a text as your logo text as your logo or the image and i think you would be able to links can either be an ocean page or an external page so let's see what this is link type again it is a very similar set of options to define a link so let's go back i'm just trying to see if at all it offers ways to what tell what else what else what else this is something which we did bring what is this interesting so you would be able to define the format of your base always also which is great i think uh, this seems to be very well thought of in terms of converting your notion content into a blog this would be really great if at all you don't want the headache of setting up hosting building up a wordpress website then managing it optimizing it etc etc right so it's definitely time consuming if you do it that way or if you want a simple and straightforward notion site converted to a blog i think this this would be a perfect product for you to do that so it also offers analytics so let's see in interesting this is really good so look at this one visitor four four views it also offers the bone rate and the average visit time along with referrals i think this should be more than enough for anyone who has zero idea of analytics as well you need not even break your head on setting up your google analytics you can just start with this and maybe as you scale when you touch four or five digit numbers in terms of visit and possibly and possibly consider setting up other analytics like google analytics etc and others right so that's how it seems to be now considering we have just used a demo article earlier let us set up our own post here and see how it will reflect so content this is my new article i would say ready to publish okay this is something which i just noticed because this was unchecked it wasn't reflecting on the site that we just set up now that i have mentioned it to be ready to be published let us see if it will reflect but before we do that let's edit the content of this post and see if at all or let's see how it reflects so let's do this i'll pick this up pick this content I'll go back this would be the title and by the way this is something that you can access this is the exact post that you can access through no code wiki so let me go back to this let me see if at all it continues with the format this is great i would say you can just draft your content directly on notion or even if you would have drafted it on google docs or any other text editors you can just copy paste because it holds the formatting as it is amazing this is so so easy i would say cool so i have updated the content here let's see what else we can update slug okay slug let's see ultimate guide for no code okay so i want this to be the slug and let me change this to okay wait 
let's go back to this I'll tag this as learn because this is something people can learn from right wow so you would be able to also tag certain related posts also so that it shows under related posts perfect so I think we'll leave it leave this at as it is now that I have selected ready to publish it should ideally reflect your so let's go back to the main blog page it doesn't seem to reflect yet so let's go back to this or possibly I think I have to make it as featured right so if at all okay it seems to reflect here under featured posts now let's say I'll select this so the title that we defined so you will be able to define the subtitle as well amazing so I would say this is excellent and super good because it kept the formatting as it is and this actually looks great I would say very minimalistic and see I'm not sure if you noticed this already but look at this based on the format that, that because this is the headline or I think this would be h1 or h2 I'm not sure however see it as shows the table of contents based on this this is crazy I would say this is crazy really good I mean if at all you have to do something like this on WordPress it will definitely take a lot more time because you would have to define and tag those sections over based just based on the headline of the section so I think you'll be able to navigate this is pretty cool you know uh, I think apart from using this for blogs I see another use case that companies can leverage this is for knowledge bases as well right if at all you have to share it externally but you have to keep the access edit access just with you or a set of people in a company you'll be able to set up a blog through feather dot blog or feather dot so that is accessible by the employees whereas only a set of folks have the access for notion to edit and update so as you can see the process seems to be very simple I'm not sure how long we spent but I don't think so it's more than like 30 minutes but considering there is a complete way to follow a structure and update the content it seems to be super straightforward let's see this right let's update something like abstract why should we always search for tech right so I'll select this perfect so this seems to be updated on notion as you can see I am doing all the updates directly on notion you wouldn't even I think you wouldn't even have to visit whether feather dot so once you have set up your blog site all you all you can do is follow the format or the structure defined by feather dot so and update directly on notion so let me get back to this let me refresh this page I'm not sure how long it will take to reflect with the new image let's go back here brilliant brilliant so as you can see I'm able to do everything directly on notion the biggest plus that I see is first of all you would need not even access things on your laptop because obviously considering there is the structure you can even update your content directly from the notion app on your mobile device that's a very big plus right so basically you can publish articles on the go second thing it offers a lot of features to customize to make it as personalized as your brand or as your wishes right so that's a very big plus which I'm looking at considering the kind of features feather dot so is offering so if you think this is something that would make things a lot easier compared to other no code alternatives like 
Elementor, WordPress or Webflow to set up your blog post, I would highly recommend a feather.so so that you can directly pull in content from your Notion databases and generate a lot of views by sharing your knowledge, right, as a blog. So that's about it. That's it for today on No Code Wiki. This is a new series. As I mentioned, let's explore together. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and also do share your suggestions, feedback, etc. in the comments. So that's about it. Signing off. I'll see you on the next one.